Hello again, and welcome to uh, the second part of this uh, long, very long Dead Soros review. There's just a lot to, to go through. First part is, is uh, in the description below. Uh, it went through most of his weapons. Uh, there's still one big one to go through, which is here, the Living Metal Destroying Cannon. I'll get to that soon, but right before, the last thing we did was this bow and arrow formation, and I do want to show you that from there, well, from anywhere, but you could get to, I didn't show you exactly uh, his little friend, the, like tiger chest in his tiger form. I will do that. I'll just take the arrow out. Good. Now, depending on where you were, in this case, we uh, push the wings back in. Now, I had it in the bow and arrow formation. We're going to take this part, and we're going to bring it back. I'm going to take here, this flap is going to go back up. However, I, I'm going to lift this up instead, this back flap here, because I'm going to bring out his tail, which does have kind of like a gun in the back of it. And now I flip this back. Now I can go back here under and flip this little panel. doesn't matter. I'm not sure. I'm just I'm going to do it. Uh, I, you know what I realized? Stupid of me. While, yes, you have to push these back when it's finally done, to actually get the legs out of the way, you do have to extend this out to give some room. And you really need it because that's, that's, it's the clearance that you need to actually get this out. So what you do is you rotate the leg, we'll say backwards in this case, and then flip it back. Okay? Same thing here. Flip it back. And the back legs are done. The front legs are much easier, they're in the right orientation already. You just take them like so. Same here. And yes, clearly the eyes are painted in this case. I'm sure of that. <laughs> if you're wondering, the joke was that I'm not sure if the eyes are painted for uh, Eagle Chest. It's, if it is, it's a very subtle change because it's red on red. Okay, so his mouth does open. Now this folds upwards. Oh yes, and now I can actually close it. Sorry about that, you're not seeing it too well. I'm closing it here too. And here's Tiger, here's Tiger chest. I'm gonna set him right here. So you can see him while I do uh, this next part, which is the, like I said, the, the, the living metal cannon, little metal destroying cannon, that's right, okay. Now, very specific sequence to open it up. Just opening up normal will not work. You have to uh, actually keep it uh, like keep the pressure downwards as you're opening it so that it can fit perfectly. And you're gonna see that it's going to have a peg that just folds it. Uh, the handle here automatically uh, is uh, taken out of its hiding hole, and you bring the second handle forward. I mean downward. Now you can arrange the they look like claws or fingers, as as you want. This is apparently the, the proper way of doing it. And yes, this is uh, also bluish compatible, if you're curious. The reason I'm doing it this way is because this toy can do something that I, I find very fun. While it's not super elegant, which is it's similar for all Transformers, since they have different parts and butterfly joints, the fact that he does, that his shoulders can move uh, forward uh, is it outward? No, I will say forward. The fact that they can actually move forward means that he can actually hold his gun not just always to the side, but actually a bit more frontwards. And we'll see if I can pull it off uh, in this review. Okay, so I'm going to take this here, put in the handle. We'll see. No promises. No, it's easier if you extend it forwards. Yeah, like that. Because the problem is that this is very long, and so if you have a folded uh, sh uh, elbow, you're gonna end up hitting the shoulder. Okay, so we'll start with this. Once again, fits into the hand with slits, everything else. So, yeah, he's got his gun pointing <clears throat> towards you. But now, what I want to do is I want to have this hand reach out for the other handle, right? You see the other handle here. We'll see if I can do it. So, right now, it's holding it. So this is it. It's it's not to the sides as much as it was for the bow and arrow. 
So you're shooting. I can tilt them a bit downward so you can see that. Right. And yes, if you're curious about the blast effect, of course I'll show you that. So easy thing to do. Here he is. Uh, I just want to see if I can have the gun a bit more forwards. I, I believe I can. Yeah, yeah, you can. Here, like this. So you see, this is something that practically all Transformers can't really do. You're not seeing it too well. Here, I'm going to show you if I can do it. Uh, I'll bring the camera up. Yeah, you can see it. So here, it's actually shooting it. Here I have it a bit lower. You can have it a bit higher. Can you? Yeah, you can. Good. So it's less to the side than it usually is. Which is uh, refreshing and interesting. However, the problem is that while it may look fine to you, if you're looking upwards, you see that the shoulder is entirely, like, looks practically detached. Right? But that's something cool that he can do. So that's his gun. All right, I'll put it to the side. Now, we're gonna have him to his kaiju mode. And yes, he does have, there are two extra little bots that I didn't mention yet. They're gonna be at the very, very end, if you don't mind. So, for kaiju mode, get ready. It's not a complicated transformation. You can basically see how it goes. It's, it's uh, <clears throat> some people have said it's a bit like Grimlock, and it, it is. Th this, initially, that Saurus was supposed to be a uh, retool of Leader Grimlock. Of course, he wouldn't have had the same height. Uh, we'll we'll get to it. I'll, I'll show you exactly how it goes. I'll, maybe I'll be a bit closer. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so you close his fists. Not exactly yet, but just that's that's it's bugging me. I'm gonna do that first. <laughs> Good. So uh, believe it or not, there is actually some articulation in his horns they can fold inwards ever so slightly, and that's for uh, him to fit perfectly within the kaiju head. I'm gonna bring this down so I can show you what I mean. So you lift up the head, and it's gonna cover the head. I mean, and you lift up the kaiju head, which will cover his robot head, right? Okay, good. Now, for the arms, they do, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna deal with the uh, arms here. So the idea here is that we're gonna have the, uh, we're gonna open up this flap. And we're gonna move the arms in. Uh, yeah, the, the, we'll see the fists in. Right, like so. And yes, there are, along the way, there are uh, slits and holes that they fit into. Uh, giggity giggity. And you can already rotate uh, the, the foot. I'm not going to extend the toes yet because along the way they're sure to close back up. Okay, I'll do that here too. Same thing. <clears throat> so that's done. Uh, what's really fun is that if you're wondering, the with the case of the kaiju, like so he's, he's looking uh, backwards in terms of the robot mode, well, it, what happens is that the, the front becomes back and back, back comes the front. So it's a fun transformation. Kind of like, if you're curious, um, a Transmetal uh, Optimus Primal. But that's just the, the something I remember. That was what I had back in the day. So you're going to unhook uh, this part here. The shoulders, you can unhook them. And that's going to help us when it comes to uh, plugging it into the legs. You can also flip them. Like so. Like rotate that. He the, the he actually won't rotate. So even though like I was talking about the loose chest, I'm doing it's not it's not that loose. It's just I guess compared to everything else that is much tighter, and you do have a lot of ratchets. The fact that the waist is just standard kind of friction makes makes it feel loose in the rest, but it's it's fine. That, that's why I didn't uh, mention it again afterwards. Uh, now that I'm making sure of it, good. So now we're gonna deal with 
The should I deal with the legs? Yeah, we'll deal with uh, no. You know what? We're gonna deal with the the front, and I'll show you why. And this is my biggest issue with the figure. It's not QC. You'll see that it's just uh, most of the figure is has pins where there should be. This is one area where I believe they were worried about breakage, and as they did so that the pieces will undo themselves if there's too much force. However, because of odd angles, they may undo themselves a lot. We'll see if they undo themselves now. So you do have these parts here that unclip from the back. And they reveal the kaiju hands. Now this is actually a fun part. Like I was saying, the back comes front, front comes the back. What it does is there's uh, lots of uh, topsy-turvy bits to do. So you're going to want the hands to end up being on the side, but you've got the, you've got the wings on the side. So you take the wings and you unclip them from this, this part, and you uh, put them backwards. So it's like an accordion type of thing. So you take it and you put it here. Hope that was clear. Good. So that gives you a chance to take the arms and put them to the side as well. That part's easy. No issue here. Now, this part, not fun. This, also like an accordion, will have to flip into this area. Good, it did not remove. However, just to let you know, there is not much keeping this attached to this, aside from friction, so uh, it may clip off. Well, in this case, it worked fine, so I'm glad. But like I said, the first time I tried transforming it, it did clip off, so that's it. Uh, you can, if you want, extend the arms. It's not necessary for now. All that's left to do now is the legs. I'm gonna bring the camera a bit down. So we can see this, this part. Now I do love the paneling here. Uh, it's very fun. Uh, I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. Maybe Sideswipe in the, the Masterpiece Sideswipe, for example. Like stuff, fun stuff like that. So we have here, and it, that's, it basically it's all done so that it doesn't look hollow. So here we're gonna take this panel, a lot of words. Flip it here, flip there. And here you have it. I'm, I do want to open it up because you need you need this. Uh, same thing on the other side. So if you if there's an error figure that it reminds you of, let me know. So it's very nice. So like you, you have all these like three layers of panels, but it ends up looking rather elegant and fine. Like not necessarily elegant, but it looks fine. It doesn't look like there's a bunch of panels there. Okay, now for the feet, you're gonna collapse the heels. Don't necessarily have to bring them in, don't have to. The very crucial step here that people may forget are these, uh, we'll call them skirt pieces on the side, side skirt pieces. These have to be flipped up or else you will have a very hard time uh, compressing or folding the legs, uh, folding the, uh, the bottom of the legs onto the top or onto the thighs. So, yeah, you're gonna, have the arms a bit more there. Well, arms, they're gonna become the legs. But what were the robot arms? Flip them out so you have some clearance. And then this should be fine. Like I said, you can use the fact that there is a double knee to help you. Right? And that's it. Perfect, perfect right there. Good. Now we're gonna turn it. And we can close these panels. See, looks fine, right? Doesn't look too bulky. I think it's fine. <laughs> You're gonna close, these were the, uh, the knees we had before. This was the part they had to open up the flap so that it could work in the throne. We're gonna close them back, okay? So you see it's taking shape. Actually, you know what I just realized something, I forgot. Keep them open. There's something really, like in terms of how invented this figure is, I find attaching the tail, while it's very simple, ends up being very, we'll, we'll use the, the word elegant again. For that, you have to keep uh, these, uh, we'll call them uh, the, these knee pads or kneecaps uh, open, right? And now one of the last steps to do is, there is a hole here, and you see these two slits. We'll plug into them so that you can secure the legs. Good. Honestly, it's not the best connection, but it does, it does work. It can be undone. It can undo itself. Uh, but, so that's why it's not the best, but it, it, like, as you see right now, I'm trying to pull it and it's staying in fine. Okay. Now our kaiju is taking shape. 
you're gonna oh now it's time to oh, you know what i realized no no that's right i did a good job you're supposed to rotate the feet however you're supposed to also rotate the bottom of the legs right and we can take the feet and like i said we can display the toes the the chicken feet right no, the dragon feet right I'm gonna bring this camera back up so you can see it. There's our kaiju. Everything's coming together. Now, of course, our kaiju is missing a tail. The tail was the shield piece that we had in robot mode. And same as in G1, it was also, so even though it may be considered parts forming, the whole point is to have a figure that we've never had like since G1, right? And it's uh, full beauty. So they went all out with this and they're adding this, which is, we'll say G1 accurate. And what's cool is that, like I said, that there there is more paint than I would than you would see on a mainline figure. So, for example, in this particular case, you have these segments here that are black, so you can see a separation right between the different kind of textures. And what what would be articulation in this case, there's not. It's just one solid piece, but it gives you the illusion of it, and it helps with the fact that you have different paints. You have that very nice blue that's throughout the figure. Like I said, it's a really cool match because this is, for example, this is. Uh, the, the plastic color, that's the paint. Really, really nice match to that. You have a light blue here for the vents, and you do have a tampograph Decepticon symbol, and, you know, more segmentation along. So, uh, this you wouldn't see on a mainline figure. Even if this was a uh, Commander class uh, released at retail, things like that you wouldn't have. So, let's just show you. So, yes, in terms of the base figure, see, it came off. It came off, not great. In terms of base figure, I can see being released as Commander class, but not with the uh, same amount of paint apps and accessories and all that. So yes, now you're seeing this, this giant chicken's butt, but it's to, it's to fit this in. So you have these, uh, if you see it, peg holes, pegs, these will go inside very simply. So almost no, no resistance offered. Now my favorite part is that then it locks in with the knees, just like the knees lock in. This actually locks in, see it? So that's actually the tail, tail, tail pegs. And you can put them in. They will lock in. I just wanna have to close this a bit more. There you go, perfect, perfect. And here is that source in his kaiju mode. All right, yeah, the mouth opens, right? This guy has nice beak. There's segmentation along the neck, so you can have a bunch of poses. Looking up, right? You can have them going way down, yeah. like so. Okay, the wings can articulate. Excuse me. Yeah, make this a bit nicer. Okay. I mean, articulate. They can, sorry, they can be posed differently. So, you know, forwards like so, which I don't think works well at all. It's more back. And you can have them be more like this. So I want to make sure that I'm positioning his legs the right way. Yeah, it's more, just to show you, here, it's more like this. Let's see. That was exactly. Yeah, it's more a bit more like this. Was there, that's that's Doris? Uh, it looks awesome. I mean, look, it's 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 up to your taste. It, it, but I mean, it's the same as the G one toy in this sense. I think it's really well done. It's really well, I didn't get to talk much about the wings in robot mode because to me they're more. Decorative in robot mode, while I'm a, they're more functional in beast mode since they add to the whole dragon look. But yeah, you see there's some really gorgeous molded detail. And what they did to add color is they actually added a red plastic piece here and did some black lines. Like I said, the, the, I'm really impressed with, the, with, with all the, the finishing touches on this. I don't see much smudging. The lines are straight, right? You see that same here in the back. This was more robot mode detail that I didn't go through. We see that here, so you have, and the way, if you're not sure how the uh, toy industry works with when they uh, have the factory paint, 
is that every single color is its own paint application. So here what you have, since this is all blue plastic, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven paint applications all only on, on one area, right? And it's well done. Like I said, you could see the you can see all the different colors. How much smudging. Very, very well done. It's a good looking figure. Now, for a few things to do in this mode. So I showed you the articulation, like I said, articulation on the arms, not too much, right? It's the little T-Rex arms. Uh, articulation, different ways you could position the legs, like I showed you. Oh, yeah, I see more, uh, more really cool paint apps here, right? Okay. There's, like I said, the, yeah, it's funny, it's not too fun. The, the feet have a tendency, and that's just, I guess, normal. The fact that they do fold in, that they will, they, they can fold in if a bit more easily uh, whenever you're, you know, touching or messing around with it. Now, his mouth opens, as I showed you, and inside, yeah, there's a hole. Is it going to focus? Today, eh. So, I'm going to take this firepower and plug it in. And there you go with his, uh, we'll call it a, a kaiju with atomic breath. <laughs> I'm not going to try and do that Godzilla sound effect. It doesn't work. Can't do it. Uh, in any case, there he is, right? Spreading uh, some hot uh, fire breath on everyone. Good. There's that. Uh, another thing uh, that this can do is it can actually go on the base. I'm not going to... I'm not going to show you. I'm, I don't care to do it. I, I really don't. It's not. It's not a way that I'll be displaying. If you're curious, I'll be displaying him in his uh, uh, in his robot mode, sitting at the throne. But I do want to show you the functionality. So let's not be uh, too pervy here. But there is a hole right where his uh, pelvis is, and there's the adapter that I showed you before. You see the triangular shape indent that goes with that so you just plug it in and this would be the stand however i don't really care much for it because as you can see it doesn't lift him on the ground much uh, i mean all you could do is you could have his legs more backwards and what they showed is you could put blast effects on his legs to show that he's like flying so that's what you can do, but I don't really care much for for that kind of display. Just to showing you what everything you can do with this toy. Right? There he is. So kaiju mode. And yes, very, very well done. Very well done. Good. Now the last thing to show you before we go. Maybe you've been <laughs> maybe you're a bit sick of me now. Uh, are the two exclusive uh, my, uh, well, yeah, we'll call them the, the MicroMaster figures that come with it. Okay, here they are. There is Boater and Peepo. And if you're curious why he's called Peepo, it's because this is based on the sound that uh, the sirens do in, in uh, I'm assuming Japan, but in Europe too, where it goes, Peepo, Peepo. So that's him. That's Peepo. I'll bring him up. It's going to be a bit more of a standard review part. <laughs> so it's the same as most MicroMasters. There he is. Uh, yeah, before I go through, what's cool to remember of both of these is that they're cast entirely in white plastic. Except for the wheels, of course, but everything else is white plastic. So any color you see that's not white, those are paint apps. So very cool. You know, I'm going to take them out just in case that it's the, the camera's not working too well when it comes to uh, the focusing. One moment. Just in case. All right. So, people, here he is. Basically, same transformation as all Micro Masters have. You know, even the G1 ones. Uh, so, yeah, I take this out, but then you have to put the feet. Okay, that's right. The feet flip forwards. So, these are his feet. And the arms come down. And you can... And peg the legs. That's people. Now we have Boater. Boater is mostly blue. Guess what? That means all paint. All paint. 
So the first thing you want to do is you take the, uh, just to show you all the, the around both, it's, it's a very unique MicroMaster. I do find it very fun. So I'm just showing it to you more than I would show an ambulance. You all <laughs> familiar with that more. In any case, you take the front of the boat and you flip it back. And that exposes the head. Now you're going to take these feet and you're going to bring them uh, backwards. This part here, these are actually heels. These will go back. Now you're left with this. You can bring the shoulders down and you can unpeg the legs. So this is Boater. Just show them to you. Ah, come on, focus. Ah, better. So a lot of nice, I don't know if you can see the head sculpt, it's really nice. I don't know if you can see it. What's fun too is that there's articulation on the head, so you can like, look this way. Good. I, there's probably articulation on people too, but the fact that he's got uh, the, the whole back of the ambulance in the way is, is not obvious. Okay, I'm gonna bring them here. Let's see if I could bring back that source for a final shot with everybody. All right, oh yeah, about that source. I didn't show it because to me it's not this. Oh, well, no, there is, there is one other cool thing we could do. Sorry about that. What I got before I could uh, continue. It looks a bit dorky, but it, I mean, it's fun. It's I, I, The whole point is this is a comprehensive review. Why not show it to you, right? So we're back to the living metal uh, destroyer cannon. Now, this can actually hook onto that source in this kaiju mode. There is, uh, you're going to flip the, the back handle back. And this part here, you're gonna flip it up. I believe, well, uh, do you, well, yeah, yeah, I think it's better. In any case, you'll, you'll be the judge of it. So, the kaiju mode has, you can even see it on the camera, there is a slit right here. And it's gonna fit with this uh, slit and peg. So, yeah, come on. Not obvious. Wait, wait, one moment. First, I'm gonna plug this back in. Like I said, that's the. There's a few things. Those pieces somehow stayed put. Very glad it didn't happen in this review. Those legs do come off, you know, if you apply enough pressure. And as I was, hold, you know, not holding the legs, they came off. In any case, I'm gonna try to put this back. There you go. Oh, it locks in very nice. Cool. So here, here is Kaiju. So not only does he have like that, that look, look, look at that, look what we do. We're gonna have him blasting with the gun. And where did I put the other, there you go. And we're gonna have another effect part in the mouth. There you go, man. Ugh. So much firepower. Wait, I'm gonna, you know what? It's fun. That's good. There you go. Good, so we got that, got our little friends, we got our animal friends too, why not, we're gonna bring them all in for a group picture, not a group picture, but a, a big finisher, right? And we're gonna have the condor as well, I'm just gonna transform one last time, so he can be part of, part of it. Not condor, sorry, that's, <laughs> once again, that sound wave. Honestly, it looks like a condor way more than it looks like an eagle. Look at that wingspan. It looks way more like a condor. But look, I'm not gonna mess. They say eagle. I'll say eagle. Although I don't know if anybody's familiar with uh, with the Chinese uh, story of the uh, eagle shooting hero, Guai Jing. But like that's all the, the the idea of like either eagle or hawk or condor. That's all. It's all changed. So because it's called condor heroes, but yet they're supposed to be eagles. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter going off on a crazy tangent that you do not care for. This is it. And yeah, there's also that. A throne for good measure, right? So on this note, I hope uh, you had fun with this review. Hope you got to see everything that uh, you can do with this toy. Uh, and I wish you all an awesome, fantastic day. And if you have your dead source, enjoy them. If he's coming in the mail, I hope this little uh, review could help you maybe wait for it or get you more excited. I hope you have a lot of fun with them, all right? Wish you all the best, guys. Bye.